I think it has to be Kate's dad, Ken. Yeah. I mean, it was just, my, my scenes with him were just so incredible. Patch, who plays Ken, um, he's just the most incredible. He's like a father figure to me um, in real life because I just love him so much and it was so great working with him. And I just love, I love how he portrayed the character. And so I think definitely Ken. I think her vulnerability, yeah. It was just so great for me as an actor to be able to portray someone with so much vulnerability, even though she didn't want to like show it to so many people. Um, but it was just so great as an actor. And also I just, I mean, I love Kate, um, but definitely I think her vulnerability made her really special. Absolutely. Oh yeah, I would. I would jump at any opportunity to become Kate again. I just, I love her so much. I mean, it's been three years since I've uh, portrayed her and I just, I'm, I'm just so in love with Kate and being Kate and uh, just everything sex in the project was just the most amazing experience ever. And I would, uh, I would jump at any opportunity to do it again. Oh, everything sucks. Um, my favorite one to film was definitely the one where we went to Bend, Oregon, which is like where we're on set like for the movie. We didn't we didn't actually go to California like how it said in the show. We went to like we went to Bend, Oregon and it was just so much fun, like all of us being together. And that one we all were at the same hotel rather than just um, some of us and that it was just it was just so much fun being on location with everybody um, because before it'd just been you know a whole bunch of stuff um, at the high school and uh, on sets like for all the homes which was great but like this one it was like we were on a field trip together you know what I mean so it was I think definitely that um, and for Grey's Anatomy um, for filming once again was probably the finale of season 14 uh, it was incredible it was the one it was Joe um, Joe and Alice's wedding and it was on like a big boat so we like we went down and we were on the boat all day and just like on the ocean we saw whales like I love whales so much so, like we saw whales it was just so incredible like all of us being on the same boat together it was, it was so much fun honestly I don't really think there's like a a key that you can you know use to just get hired for big roles. I mean, I wasn't hired for big roles immediately. It took me a year to get my first project as a short film and I kept working at it and working at it and taking acting classes and bettering myself as an actor and surrounding myself by people that I know would, you know, help me and inspire me and just working at it so hard. I mean, I didn't get my first, you know, big role for, for years after I started. It's not just something, I mean, I guess there are some people where it's like their first thing they, they book and they get, um, a huge role, but for me it was definitely working hard and being persistent. CMTC definitely helped me start out and then as I said um, acting classes for sure definitely helped me um, you know go straight into the industry of acting and start portraying other characters immediately and I think I think it was uh, so helpful as a young person going in is that acting classes definitely um, help you see what it's like. I think definitely just consistently trying to better yourself as an actor. Like, I don't think you can just, you know, not practice your craft and not try and better yourself or surround yourself by people that inspire you and people that make you better and, you know, be successful. Like, I think you have to stay consistent in trying to make yourself better and trying to go after you know the next project that you want because once you lose sight of that I, I, I think it's hard to maintain your success. It's significant for the fact that it was what started me in the industry you know like it was the first experience I had surrounded by industry professionals and for that it was just so significant in my career because without it like I wouldn't have gotten my first agent and I wouldn't have you know learned so much at CMTC or be, be surrounded by so many people that um, you know helped start off my career so CMTC was really great for you know getting me started in the industry. I just did the one self tape that I sent in and then I did the callback with Mike and Ben um, over Skype. Uh, and that was it. It was just two, um, two auditions for that one. <laughs> um, color, is, my favorite color is yellow. Um, I love the color yellow. It's just like the color, 
happiness and sunshine to me. So, <laughs> um, and my favorite TV show, um, I guess it's a mini series, but I love Escape at Danamora. That show was just oh, incredible to me, and Patricia Arquette was just so great in it. And I guess it's only a mini series, so I don't know if that counts as a favorite um, show, but that was just incredible. And I think it was really important for me um, uh, when I watched it. Like it was just a really important time for me to watch shows and see other actors that were you know so great at what they do and it was really inspiring uh to me um but then my favorite <laughs> i mean i guess my favorite show um it's survivor the reality show which i <laughs> i love survivor so much so <laughs> i love Boston. <laughs> The fourth one, Goblet of Fire is my favorite by far. Um, and I've seen people say that they don't like Goblet of Fire so much, but I love Goblet of Fire. I could go on about Harry Potter for hours and hours and hours, um, but Goblet of Fire is my favorite. It's like the transition between like the innocence that all the characters have at the beginning of the series towards like the darker part and like the fight against Voldemort. <laughs> I seriously could go on for hours about this. But Goblet of Fire, because like with the ending and everything like that, it's just like the perfect transition between them and I love the Triwizard Tournament um, so definitely the fourth one um, and I think the movie is really good for it too um, and I'm a healthy buff. <laughs> I play the flute I actually have my flute back there um, I play the flute I used to play piano I don't think I'd be nearly as good now I'm very rusty um, and I also play the ukulele a little bit Katarina's just incredible. Um, she's also from Toronto and she also moved to Los Angeles. Um, so it was really inspiring in that, that we had like almost the same path moving to Los Angeles and everything like that. Um, and I just, I, I love her so much. She's the sweetest. She's, she really, I mean, she played a mother figure to Betty and I really just see her as that um, because she's just the kindest and she cares so much about other people. And um, yeah, she's really just the sweetest. Um, and it was really nice seeing someone who came from like from Toronto and she's huge in Los Angeles. So um, that was really inspiring to me and just getting to work with her was just incredible. I like it in the sense that it's just so nice knowing that there's people out there who have watched your, have watched your projects and have loved the roles that you've been in. Like, I think that's just so rewarding because it once again reminds me of like how many people I've affected and how many people, um, you know, have, have watch this stuff that I care about that I've spent time working on. Um, so that's just really meaningful. So yeah, it's nice getting recognized um, and knowing that, you know, these people have, you know, watched what, watched what you've been in. Um, yeah, being recognized, is, it's nice. The only part, there's like sometimes where people will recognize me, but they don't want to like come up to me and ask. So they'll just be like, <clears throat> and they'll just like whisper like, <clears throat> and see if I turn around. And if I do, then they'll be like, oh my God, you're from Grey's Anatomy. Or like, <laughs> Whatever it is, so like that, that one's really funny to me. But um, no, getting recognized is really nice, knowing that you know these people have watched um, the roles that you've been in.